especially for a driver, it's incredible. Like the, the action, the concentration you need for the whole time. The bond you have with the, the co-driver, the car, the team, you've got to trust them completely. There's hundreds of hours of work just for one rally. You're hitting jumps at 180k an hour, the road changes, the grip changes. You're always on the edge. 15 seconds, car in gear. 10 seconds, stage mode on. Five seconds to go and full throttle. Your home rally is always special and it's it's cool to compete on home soil and and to bring bring a I guess an Australian to, to a world rally car team and, and race in your home soil. It doesn't doesn't get any better for a rally driver. To get to do Rally Australia again, almost ten years after I, I did my first Rally Australia is uh, is incredible that I've had a career like this. To be realistic, it's going to be tough. These guys are, are racing at an incredibly high level at the moment, turning up as a part-timer. It's going to be difficult. Once you've had that, that break and you lose that rhythm in rallying, that's the hardest thing to get back. But unless you get a full season again, it's so hard to, to build that momentum back up. And although I've got speed in places, to build the whole package again takes a, a little bit of time without massive risk. So here we are, um, start of day one of Kotai Rally Australia and uh, it's been a big week already, a lot of preparation, recce and uh, PR stuff. Now the, the work starts and uh, starting the stages a bit, like of course we've got the pace notes but you want to have a bit more of an idea and uh, in the lead up over the nights, sort of up till midnight, checking the notes, starting the stages, making adjustments and then just the last little refresh now before we start the morning. And yeah, for sure there's a lot of pressure, it's uh, the one big event of the year for me and um, haven't done Rally Australia since 2006 so uh, no excuses, just get on with the job. that sort of intensity it's it's um, it's another level and and when you're fighting at the front of the world championship it's it's a incredible feeling and the the rhythm you get it's like a dance through through the forest you really have to um, get into a zone because there's, there's so much information coming at you and the more you can absorb that information then the quicker you're going to be in a world rally car it's, it's unbelievably intense and that's what blows people away. I think you see from the footage, but it's, it's not boring. Tough day, first day at Kotai Rally Australia. This afternoon we've had some dramas and unfortunately the sump guard, we came loose. As you break, you'd have no turn in and we really struggled and we lost some time. You're amongst the elements out there, you're, you're really on your own. We can only do what we can with me and Stefan, what we've got in the car. You can't even take outside assistance. We'll see what the weather does. If it rains overnight, we're actually in probably a pretty good position to be first on the road, so uh, then uh, we should have good grip if it's wet.
WRC events are very tough, so uh, you know uh, it's not easy. You know you have to uh, be in the shape, you know, and uh, be in activity uh, in order to extract maximum performance from the package, from the car, from yourself. So uh, Chris is a great driver. We know it, and uh, it's not. Uh, that we discovered it uh, today and uh, he has achieved very good results in the past. This year for sure is, uh, you know, because he is not racing, uh, continuing, uh, it's not easy, but uh, that's part of the game. choice this afternoon at Rally Australia and uh, it went on the soft compound when uh, we were hoping for some rain and it didn't come. The, the wear is just too great, the tyre gets too hot, the tyre had worn down to basically no tread. The decision we made at lunchtime for tyres uh, still runs through till tonight. We're still running the Super Special uh, at 7pm. The left rear is a complete slick at the moment so it um, doesn't work too well on gravel. Motorsport, you've got you've got a team in the car, and you've got to work together, and you've got to trust them completely. And Stefan is probably one of the, the top three co-drivers in the world for me. He's unbelievable in the car. There's not one moment in the last 315 kilometres at Rally Australia that that he's missed anything or made a mistake, and and that gives you absolute trust as a a driver. I'd love to have a, a full-time drive again, like that would be, would be massive uh, and mega, but you, you need that to get the rhythm going again. It's, it's great to come along and have these sort of one-off drives, but like I said, without a full program, a proper program, it's, it's almost impossible to go with these front guys. For sure, I'd love to, uh, to win an event. That's something I've never done. Seconds and thirds and, uh, and some good results Lots of stage wins around the world on, on every surface, so the only unfinished business is a win. Of course, I'd like to be world champion. It's still in the back of my mind there that's something that's eating away.